What is going on guys? Gray here today. Let's talk about how to gain rapport with Isabel. Now, of course, if you're a fan of companions, you're probably out there trying to rank your companions up as quickly as possible to unlock skills and things like that. But also gaining rapport is important too. So let's talk about the ways to gain rapport with Isabel. First of all, completing a, a Bulgrel daily delve or completing a High Isles world boss daily will give you plus 125 rapport. Killing a world boss will give you plus five rapport and that has no cooldown. Some of these will have cooldown, some of them will not. Killing a delve boss will give you plus five rapport. Killing a daedra will give you plus one rapport. Killing a boss type daedra, so a dolmen bosses, things like that, will give you plus five rapport. Crafting sweet food will give you plus five rapport. The thing about the crafting sweet food, I guess they know people probably have tons and tons of material and they can just, you know, craft those over and over again and just get plus five rapport, you know, just multiple times. So you only can get that plus five for crafting sweet food on an hour cooldown. So once every hour, uh, create, uh, crafting something with blacksmithing gives you a plus five rapport, uh, completing a volcanic event. The new events in the high Isles chapter gives you plus five rapport. Visiting a undaunted enclave will give you plus 25 for the first visit and then plus five for the next visit or, you know, the next several visits. Uh, talking to an alliance leader. Uh, so anyone, you know, Emmerich, uh, Yorn, any of those people that are alliance leaders uh, will give you plus 10 uh, for Emmerich, plus five for Aaron and plus one for Yorn and can be done multiple times the same day. Talking to Lyris, so if you talk to Lyris in the prison, you talk to Lyris in the Fighters Guild, you can get plus 10 rapport from that, and you can that can be done multiple times per uh, day as well. Using a repair kit to repair gear will give you plus one rapport. Accepting a dual request for another player can give you plus one, uh, plus one rapport, and summoning the Mountain Dog or the Retriever Pets will also give you plus one rapport. Now let's talk about some of the actions or some of the things that you can do that will decrease your rapport with Isabel. Killing an innocent NPC with or without the Blade of Woe will give you negative 10 and then negative 1 for each additional kill during the cooldown period. Stealing from a container, thieves trove, or corpse of an innocent NPC will be negative 1 rapport as well. And that has a cooldown also. Entering the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary will give you negative five rapport. And entering an Outlaw's Refuge will give you negative one rapport. So if you're a person that goes out and steals stuff and, you know, you might go out and do some more questing. You might have Isabel out and you decided, oh yeah, I forgot I had, uh, you know, some things I need to go get rid of in the Outlaw's Refuge. Make sure you put her, uh, put her up before you go in that Outlaw's Refuge. Because every time you go into an Outlaw's Refuge, you will get that negative one rapport. Anyway, guys, I kind of hope this helped you out uh, to know exactly what you need to do to gain rapport and what you need not to do to lose rapport with Isabel. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.